Hi, buddy. <laughs> There's that gorgeous tooth. Where'd you go? Cuckoo. Uh, cuckoo. Thanks for letting me film my video. Hi, gorgeous. everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jasmina. I have a daughter named Liv. She is two and I have a son named Jagger and he is 10 months old. So today I figured why not make a video of what I got my kids for Christmas. Um, if you are like me, Christmas through your children's eyes is just magical. It brings back for me personally my childhood. Um, all that beautiful creativity and imagination that children have Christmas morning, it's beautiful. And this year, I feel like it's definitely extra needed after everything that's gone on. So with that being said, grab yourself a nice drink and let's get started on what I got my kids for Christmas. I'd like to make a disclaimer. Um, because my son is 10 months and my daughter is two, um, my son has a lot of toys for his particular age group that are um, hand-me-downs. I didn't want to repurchase toys that are that he plays with already that were lives when she was that age. So you will definitely see that there is more toys aimed towards Liv, but that's just because he's going to profit big time from all of them. And then obviously, when he is Liv's age, um, he will be getting toys directly aimed at him, so on and so forth. And so just with that being said, there's definitely no favoritism. There's just, I just figured that, you know what, he's gonna definitely profit from a lot of these toys and he's gonna enjoy them. And so a lot of them are just really just for both of my kids. I love them equally. So with that being said, let's get started on some wood toys. Lately, I am loving the wood toys. I feel like even like now as an adult, I hold them and it just feels good. And I don't know if that's crazy to say or not, but it just, it I feel like it fosters so much more imagination. And just the texture of the toy just feels so good. And that might sound crazy to some, but I mean, take a moment to think about all the plastic toys and then those really solid, good quality wood toys. There is a very big difference. That being said, there are some plastic toys here that I know that Liv is gonna love and I know that throughout the years, both my kids are gonna probably ask for a bunch of those types of toys and that is totally fine also. But now that I have the control of what I'm gonna get my kids because they didn't necessarily ask me for anything, um, they got quite a bit of wood toys this year. So this is the Music Maker's Wooden Instruments and I love this. It has the rattles, the shakers, and it's just a fundamental music set. It just has all the pieces that you need. And I just I just love this. And my kids personally adore music. The next, Liv has shown so much interest in cooking and just spending time in the kitchen because um, I spend time in the kitchen. My mom, that's Jagger, my mom who we live with, we all live together. She's cooking all the time. She loves it. So my grandmother got her uh, got Liv a learning tower. So Liv has so much independence now. She just goes on the learning tower. She goes up the stairs, and she's at the counter. And that's it. She has nothing else to play with once she's at that counter. And so I got her this. This is the wooden play food cut and slice. And I love this because it really practices their fine motor skills. And it's so imaginative and it's so just, it's just so gorgeous. You've got the loaf of bread, the watermelon, the carrot, and then you've got the wooden knife that's very safe. And they learn to cut their food just like mommy and daddy and grandma. We cut the food in our kitchen, right? So I got her this. I think that she's gonna have so much fun with this and I'm so excited to play with this with her, honestly. So. That also is very affordable. For Jagger, I found this at Toys R Us. It's the Melissa and Doug Pullback Town Vehicles. And I love this because he's just gonna have so much fun just chasing after the cars. You just pull them back and it just goes by itself. 
and I love this. It's safe, it's cute, it feels nice. It's just, I just love it. So I, I saw this and I said, this is such a good toy for Jagger to have for Christmas. So yeah, this was like, I'm trying to think of prices. All in like the $20 mark area. And just to mention, it's very soft also. Oh, let me bring Jagger in the picture with us. <laughs> a break for five minutes to say hi to Jagger. Hi. Say hi. Wave hi. Hi. I guess it's okay if you see your presence, isn't it? Is it okay? Yeah. Say hi. It's going to be my first Christmas. Okay. I purchased this big pink dollhouse for her. This is again from Melissa and Doug. I told you guys I'm obsessed. I got it at Winners and it's so cute. It has the little uh, wooden furniture inside along with the little um, puppets. And it's a fold and go wooden house. So I love this. This is one of her bigger gifts. Um, a few things from Walmart. I got this for her. She is obsessed with makeup. Every time I'm putting on my makeup, she wants to put on hers. How cute! It was $15 and it's just the sweetest thing. It has um, the little blush, the little lipstick. So I thought that she would really enjoy having something like mommy does. Um, so yeah, I got that. I also got Liv from Walmart again. It's from Crayola. It's a Scribble Scrubble um, set. So basically they color on their little animals here and then they can put them in the bath and the color washes off and then they can re recolor them as often as they'd like. I thought that it would be really, really nice to have something like this for Liv to do as an activity. So um, yeah, I love this. This is a great gift idea, honestly. I love this. So um, this one is a cash register. So I thought that she'd have fun um, playing cash register like at the stores when we go to the store and purchase things. She loves to go to Costco prior to all this um, mess going on in our world. Um, she used to come all the time grocery shopping with me and every so often she still does because I have no choice and she just loves like she's always looking at them scanning the items and whatnot so I thought that this would be awesome and also this is gonna be definitely fun for Jagger as well we just got to make sure that of the small pieces so Liv is gonna be definitely playing this with my supervision and Jagger as well um, Talking about beauty set before, I forgot that I got this for Liv also. Um, she, she loves to use mommy's brush. She always wants to use mommy's curling iron. So now she has her very own. So while I am getting dressed and ready with my hair, she can get ready with her hair, as doing her hair as well. And I pray that this makes her happy and that she does not harass me for my curling iron because she cannot have it because it's hot but she doesn't understand that so hopefully she loves this I think it's just so cute and it's definitely affordable it's ten dollars and I think she's gonna love it so there we go what else did we get oh yes I got Jagger this little truck with the remote control um, it's 12 month plus so in February it's gonna be the perfect age group for him I thought that he'd have so much fun I know that I like love this I used to love this when I was a child so I think he's gonna have so much fun with this along with Liv too and especially now he started to stand up and I assume slowly but surely he will start to walk and so it's gonna be just fun for him to kind of run after this with Liv so I got this um oh yeah Liv is obsessed with five little monkeys so at winners I found the five little monkeys reading in the bed we have the five little monkeys jumping in the bed. This one is reading in the bed. So I thought that she would enjoy having a nice um, new book from five little monkeys. And we usually read before bed, so I'm excited to read this to her. And Jagger loves this also. So he's gonna really enjoy listening to mama read this and looking at the pictures also. So this is for both of them. 
Um, I got um, this for Liv. You see, I'm like forgetting everything I got. Um, it's a storybook princess with the magnetic pen so that she can draw. Um, I thought this was just super cute. Very, very fun. And I'm always looking for activities now that we're home so much. Um, it's fun to just have a different, all kinds of different types of activities to keep the kids busy throughout the day. So <gasps> okay. This. So this is the, uh, sorry, I'm reading like the, the description. This is the trolley with building blocks. I love that he's going to have his own little wooden trolley with blocks. Um, the kids, both Liv and Jagger, adore blocks. It's their favorite thing. Um, uh, Liv got for her birthday this huge bag of blocks and it's just all over my house. I find it everywhere, even the bathroom. So now we'll, we'll, we will find blocks, plastic blocks and wooden blocks all over my house. But I just loved it. It's just a traditional wooden toy. It's just I feel personally it's one of those must-haves it's just so cute and it's also gonna help Jagger to walk and also to play so love this this was $35 at Toys R Us a little stocking gift I got Jagger this grab a slice to go it's just this little teether that makes noise I thought it was really, really cute, and I figured it's just such a cute stocking stuffer. And the poor little guy is teething pretty bad. He's got one tooth only so far, and the rest are just coming in very, very quickly. And so he's struggling, and hopefully this brings him a little bit of comfort. had this near the cache, and it's a potty time for her doll. And I said to myself, how perfect, because maybe this will encourage Liv to go on the potty more often and actually do something. So um, she has a doll and she's going to, whenever she wants to go on the potty, I'm going to put the doll on the potty also. So like I said, hopefully that encourages her and comforts her during this potty training process. Oh yeah. This is the doll uh, high chair for Liv. For her doll she has no accessories for her dolls thus far so i'm purchased a little bit quite a few actually <laughs> um this is her high chair so she can put her doll to eat it's cute i love it so that 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 and she has only one doll so i purchased i purchased another doll and the reason i did was it was nine dollars so like it was such a good price and i thought you know, it's such a cute doll that she can just play with and live. Liv loves Winnie the Pooh, and I love these wooden puzzles from Melissa and Doug. Um, kids personally love these, and I have two of them so far, but they just played with them so often that they're just tired of it. So now we've got this one, Winnie the Pooh, and I know that Liv in particular is going to be super excited because it's the Winnie the Pooh characters. And Jagger's just going to be excited to have one more thing to put in his mouth. I found this and I said to myself this would go along really well with the learning tower that her grandmother purchased for her. Um, I showed you guys before like the wooden fruits that you slice. Well this is just a tea set. Let me see is it going to... So, so I thought that this would be really, really cute for Liv to have like a little tea during the time that mommy has her coffee. So yeah. So that is it, you guys. If that is not enough, but um, yeah. So I'm super excited. At the end of the day, Christmas is really just about being with those that you love. And unfortunately this year, um, it's gonna look very, very different, but I am feeling very blessed that I have my two children here with me, that I can wake up on Christmas morning and see their little faces, and just just to know that they're healthy and happy, and I can just live my childhood through their eyes, basically. So let me know what you guys got your kids for Christmas or what are your Christmas traditions. I am very, very excited to know, and I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, I know I kind of went a little bit overboard, but I just, I just can't help myself.